Uh, this will be very brief, but the, um, we're dividing it into two parts, and the goal in the first part is to get these four, hopefully four positions on the table about what do you do about the big corporation. Uh, and so very brief kind of clarifying questions would be in order. But the reason we want to do that briefly is so in the second part we can compare and contrast. But you need to get everything on the table before you can compare and contrast. So um, the questions at least that we kind of focused on were some of the charts we're going to see up here. Uh, roughly 33%, a third of the American labor force is in companies over 5,000. So the big corporation or big entities uh, appear to be here to stay and they are growing. There are more numbers we can give you on that. A, a large percentage of those, I think, what, 23% in, currently in companies over 10,000. So this is a big question of uh, what we do about scale in the new economy. And three questions that, uh, of particular interest. Um, they are powerful politically as well as economically. Uh, can you control them? Can you, what do you do with them? Can you bend them to public and social purpose? Um, secondly, do they inherently grow? They are currently growing and they are a dynamic force for growth and the new economy is a new economy that wants not to grow in material output. What do you do about these big entities that are doing that? And one in particular that we've come up with uh, is a great concern because we're working in cities in the Midwest. They tend to move as they want to move, both globally and internally, simply undermining communities. And if community is a critical element in the new economy, uh, again, how do you manage these entities that disrupt a community? So those are the big questions that I have in mind. I also want to mention that we have uh, Thomas Hanna with us from the Democracy Collaborative, who's not on the agenda, but who's here to answer questions about uh, antitrust and the record of antitrust uh, if necessary, because he's been following the literature, so that's another possibility.